If stem cells, cloning, cancer research, molecular biology are considered the frontier areas of today's medical science, then my guest this week is its superstar. In fact, she's been called the queen of that business. Uh, Professor Elizabeth Blackburn, welcome to Walk the Talk. Thank you. I'm and very you glad have to an, be here. You have an added distinction. You were fired by President Bush. Yes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice thing to have on your T-shirt. I was fired by George W. Bush. <laughs> for, doing, for doing what I just do, which is to say, get the science right, get the science right. That's, that's my job as a scientist, is to do science and tell my research team, make sure you get the science right, make sure you get the science right. Yes, but that wasn't a very popular um, attitude in the commission or the council that I was serving on as an advisory to national science. Because, because people confuse faith with science. Well, yes, and, uh, and I was serving on a commission whose, um, whose mandate really was to the commission provide on bioethics. The, the President's Council on Bioethics, which is a federal commission whose mandate is to advise national science policy, you know, for national purposes. And so, uh, so I thought it was very important to get at least the science right. And then one makes decisions after that, once one has got the science right. And so what was very interesting, and, and I believe you know, quite characteristic of other aspects of this past administration, <laughs> that, that there was this wish not to get the science right. And that, of course, is very antithetical to how, how scientists you know, um, feel. We We'll bring you back to George W. Bush and those yes. eight years. Oh, no. But, but please, no. Please, no. <laughs> no we'll not we're bring also, the years back. <laughs> we're all so happy to think in the future terms. Yes, we'll, not, we'll not bring those years back. I think people of America have made sure of that. Uh, but, you know, just, just in that background, how wonderful to be having this conversation and that too in New Delhi in the, uh, in the gardens of National Institute of Immunology. Uh, that we are having this conversation just when yes. the world is celebrating Charles Darwin's 200th birth anniversary. Yes, so appropriate because, uh, you know, what that, what that brought was really a sort of freeing up of how you think about the natural world. Right. And intellectually, you know, it was such a, uh, you know, it tapped into a lot of scholarship, but, it's, but it was something that kind of freed people into thinking about things which really because, is underpinned because biology. It, 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 that's your world. That's, that's your world down to its smallest unit. You know, yes. The, the smallest, uh, yes. not just a cell, but now an enzyme. An enzyme or a, a, a group of enzymes carrying out a function within a cell. Yes, right. yes. Because, uh, you know, it's very interesting. Uh, 200 years since Darwin. And yet the debate goes on because there's still lots of people who believe in the theory of intelligent design, that life is so complex, couldn't have just handled mm -hmm, because of evolution. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why? Well, it's an interesting mixture. I think it's partly that there's a social, a certain social groups of people feel very suspicious about science and its methods and would rather not, um, you know, deal with the fact that it's sometimes it's sometimes more difficult to grasp ideas and sometimes I think faith is almost I understand it's a human characteristic to, to want to have faith of various kinds Are you but, religious? but sometimes I actually I, I find great wonder in nature and uh, and I see why people have an interest in sort of something you know I, I hate to use the word spiritual but something like that something beyond yourself I think that's very human and in my case, I find the wonder is in nature, but I don't have any formal religious... But scientists, scientists also go to church. Yes, yes, and, and, and I think... Or to temples. But or... I think the, the, the kind of thing where someone uses faith as an intellectual laziness, right. I think that's the thing where if somebody who really, really wanted to know how or things work... Or intellectual worked, alibi. Or an alibi, or just, yes, if you really wanted to know how things worked, you would try and think through really is Darwinism well based on reasoned, you know, taking in of all the evidence and looking at it all, or, or not? And I think those who reject it are not actually taking on that intellectual because, argument. Because many of Darwin's yeah. critics would say yeah. that you guys also take Darwinism uh, as a scripture. Not at all. We just take it, every scientist just takes a theory as a working model. Right. It's just a framework in which you uh, say, well, does this go towards trying to find out the nature of things.